chili that you might want to serve during the bowl game. Here's Taryn and Joan with more. All right, thank you, John. And we have a helper today. This is 12-year-old Tabitha Hefty. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. And where do you go to school? Cathedral of the Risen Christ. All right, and she has uh, three little brothers and sisters here with her and her mom, so we're glad that she's here to help her. And this would be your aunt, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to help Joan cook here. Yes, Tabitha's a great helper with a lot of feedlot tours and things we do in the summertime. Yeah. Um, they like to come up and enjoy. So what I've done, um, this is a chili, and chili is a basic winter recipe to make that you can enjoy either by itself or on hot dogs or on baked potatoes. I mean, it's real versatile. So what I've done is I've browned the hamburger, and then what I'm going to do is um, we're going to put it in the crock pot, and my lovely assistant here is going to help me put it together. So mm -hmm. it's basically four ingredients. Um, you got hamburger, beans, and, and soup, and then mm -hmm. the, the chili powder, of course, and onion flakes. So I guess that's five ingredients. So I'm not counting very well this morning. But this I? is your favorite chili that you make always? It's my favorite, and we serve it like at church suppers, um, events where there's lots of people, because there's not a lot of like hot spice. It's, it's a pretty mild chili. And so mm -hmm. if you want to juice it up, you can add more jalapenos or, or things that add Onions a lot more or, kick. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's a real basic starter okay. recipe for, and so you just brown your hamburger and you can also brown it with the onions too if you like. Um, but for today, we're just gonna um, put the other ingredients right here in a crock pot. And this was pretty well drained. I use um, not super lean hamburger, but get fairly lean hamburger because I like the juices that some of that fat can give me and then drain right. that off. And so, Tabitha, if you would like to help, um, we'll pour that chili powder and the, um, and the onion flakes and the beans. And then, Taryn, if you want to pour that juice on, that okay. might be better um, for that. So, um, the thing about chili that's really good is that there's a lot of protein in that. You've, mm -hmm. got, you've got the beef that's really high in a lot of great nutrients. This time of year, people are looking to get zinc in their diet because of flu season yeah. and, and different immune issues. And so um, that's another big key with beef. And so besides, besides having these beans that people associate some with, with protein, that beef is going to be a really good source of all the really valuable nutrients. And this is something you could have for breakfast even. You could put it in a cup and get a spoon. If, if your kids are tired of cereal, give them some chili, put some cheese and you know crackers on it. And uh, otherwise, sit down together and enjoy a meal together, which is soup. It's super easy. You could, I mean, it took us just a few minutes. Yeah. Um, throw it in your crock pot, leave for work, leave it on low, warm, something really low. Come back and sit down together, even if it's 10 minutes, and eat together as a family. We just know how valuable family is, mm -hmm. and, and that we need to spend more time eating and talking. Holidays are coming around, so we'll get a lot of time for that, right, with families. And so hoping this chili recipe is a way to have a simple meal that mm -hmm. we can all enjoy. So this, families. this is the finished one, right? Right, right. That okay. one's nice and hot. So, so I get to try a little bit of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And you can really, um, you can add sweet corn to mm -hmm. add a little bit of little color. You could use a small can of chili beans and then a, a mm -hmm. can of black beans. That would also add more color. But this is a real good base. And then you Which can take it from top? there and, and juice right. it up in other ways. But yeah, so. Mm. It is good. It's very I mean, basic. It's good. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I had one. I was at an exarban show, and one lady came out. She said, this is the only chili my daughter's ever eaten. And so I think it just doesn't have too much overpowering flavors right. of one or another. And so, and mm -hmm. I always like beef to be the, the main flavor, so um, that's why I no, it's very really good. loaded it with beef. It's a so. crowd pleaser. Everybody will like this. Right. Do you right. like it, Tabitha? <laughs> Do you like chili in general? Yeah. Yeah, so this is a favorite of yours, too. You ready for Santa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> a lot of families are looking forward. You yeah. know, and there's a lot of other meals coming up. So we have recipes for like how to make that great prime rib. Um, mm -hmm. Other sides on the Beef It's What's For Dinner website. We've, right. we've of, often talked about that. Different cuts and understanding where they come from, how to prepare them. So always want people to know that we have great recipes on our Common Ground website too. Mm -hmm. and, and would like people to, to choose us for their source of information. Great. Thank you, Joe. Merry Christmas to Merry you guys. Merry Christmas. And this recipe will be on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page. Very good chili. Back to you, John.